On to attend, several people in San Benito say they're concerned about the abandoned homes and their neighborhood. They say they've reached out to the city, but so far haven't seen any results. CBS 4 Stephen Seeley joins us in our newsroom. And Stephen, what are the main concerns that people have? Well, Nicole, the resident I spoke to says this problem isn't being taken seriously and says he's concerned about the activity going on around these abandoned properties. Been going on for years. I mean, I've called the city several times and their response most of the time is our hands are tied. We don't have enough manpower. Miguel Hernandez says he's seen rundown properties in his San Benito neighborhood for far too long. Because I can't believe that, that they can't, nothing can be done. Some homes are boarded up, have windows broken, and are surrounded by untamed grass. Hernandez believes it's become an eyesore for the city and even a hangout for illegal activity. But when he reached out to the city, he got no results. And sometimes they'll call you back, sometimes they won't. You know, but the city's not that big for not, for you not to get an answer. Uh, we worked, we're working with them in hoping uh, demolishing that building. Bernard Rodriguez, who is director of planning and development, says the city has an ordinance in place when dealing with abandoned homes. He says they must contact the homeowner and from there a legal process begins to acquire the home. But Hernandez is looking for a solution sooner than later since some of the homes are next to schools. Either a disease and pick up some residual drugs or the needles that are left behind. Who knows, those, that place, that went, they, there might be a guy in there passed out. And they come in there, hears them, wakes up, and what is he going to do? Rodriguez says the city takes every concern seriously and that there are some projects that could involve cleaning out those areas that have been unattended. In the newsroom with complete Valley coverage, Stephen Seeley, CBS4 Valley, tonight.